Hello again, Atlanta to Dallas Aviation with another video for you. And now these uh, four models I got shortly after I had finished my uh, video uh, on the narrow bodies before I went to Las Vegas. <clears throat> so uh, this is a separate unboxing video of these four uh, one of them's NG and the other three are Gemini Jets and you can see or maybe you can see down there at the bottom We have an interactive series triple uh, seven freighter DHL uh, I believe it says on that model that it is uh, Operated by Coletta Air so uh, we'll get into that But we will go ahead and take this off and I have some interesting lighting here. So um, the sun is coming through a window that uh, is to the right. And it's shining down on here. We probably won't have that light for very long. And I'm not sure if uh, the shadow, uh, the shadows are going to make this a a less um, pleasant video or a more pleasant video. Alright, so as we usually do, we introduce the first first one is Tarum, which is the Romanian uh, flag carrier, uh, part of Sky Team, which is why I got it. Um, and this is a very small carrier, so um, uh, as far as I can tell, they actually only have three of uh, three of these uh, airplanes. So an Airbus A318, also known as Baby Bus. I know they called the A319 Baby Bus sometimes, but this is the true Baby Bus. So A318 Baby Bus uh, and uh, also, as far as I'm aware, their largest airplane uh, is a Boeing 737-800. So, uh, very small and just regional. And this, so this goes with my Sky Team collection. Uh, registration on this one is Yankee Romeo Dash Alpha Sierra Charlie. Uh, and NG has announced uh, that they're also going to put out Alpha Sierra Alpha. Um, I think it was the February, the gigantic February release. Um, but anyway, so here, if you can see that, uh, there we go. Uh, the item number for this one. And let's get into this. Now this 318 is my first 318 and uh, I feel like since I needed this air this airline for Sky Team um, I figured this was the perfect one to get since I don't have a 318 in my collection. Now I would I would like even though they don't fly them anymore I would like to have some Frontier 318s. Um, I probably really only want one, but um, anyway, taking a look here, pulling on the control surfaces, make sure everything's good. He feels very good. All right, let's put him, let's see if we can get him a, at least a little sunshine. Yeah, we got them in the sunshine for a 360. Look at there. It's not going to stay that way for long though, because the the light, the sunlight is disappearing fast. So we'll do this 360 real quick. Just 
As you can see it's fence tips. And the vertical stabilizer is very tall compared to other uh, air uh, Airbus narrow bodies. So there we go with the 360. Uh, I told you the the sunlight is disappearing fast so let's see if I if we can do a quick close-up while it's still in the Sun Oops. that's too close and we'll bring it down to bring the camera down to level a little bit here we go And there you got the Sky Team uh, logo right behind the cockpit windows. Um, uh, this this model slash uh, airplane has a name, uh, Henry Kuanda. Uh, I'm sure I did not pronounce that correctly, but Henry Kuanda. Uh, the last name is spelled C O A N D A with a little accent thing uh, over the final A it says it was a eight uh, he was an aviation pioneer and uh, born 1886 and died 17 I'm sorry 1972 so I'm sure that that's what it says uh, let me get my little pointer here I'm sure that's what it says about right here And maybe you can see it better on a bigger screen. And uh, so the other thing I kind of noticed about this, and I thought it was actually broken. So the 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 nose gear, look how look how angled it is. Uh, I tested it; it's in there solidly. So if that is not correct, it's just because they put it in incorrectly. But uh, and you you probably have noticed on other uh, Airbus narrow bodies that nose gear kind of angles out like that but and I don't know if it's because this one's so small that it's more obvious but um, I, I really thought that that uh, nose gear was broken but it appears to be that that's just the way it is all right, got the engines there. Fence tips, as you can see, and the really tall vertical stabilizer. And that, my friends, is the Terum Airbus A318 baby bus. And now that the sunlight has almost completely gotten out of the frame we will move on All right. we move on now to let's raise this up again Moving on to the Gemini Jets Delta Airbus A220-300. So this 300 is, I believe, the second release that they've done. And uh, the first release was actually done on uh, the Herpa mold. Well, this is their own mold. So the landing gear uh, is not plastic and uh, however I do believe their nose gear is a little bit high all right there's some box Aha. and then there 
is your item number and the registration for this aircraft is November 305 Delta Uniform now pull this bad boy out now So I actually have uh, all the A220s that uh, that has been have been put out for Delta Airlines. I have all of those, and they're all from they're all from Gemini. Uh, but uh, some of them are on the uh, Herpa mold. Yeah. All right. So this is looking pretty good other than the what seems to be just a little too jacked up uh, nose gear. All right, but at least the gear is metal, right? Unlike the uh, Herpa gear, which was is or is plastic and not as detailed. So even though this seems to be a little bit too long, we'll get a better look at it when I uh, get more level and we'll look down the port side. But yeah, so I have um, I have all the A two twenties. Uh, that have been put out for Delta Airlines and they've all been uh, through Gemini even if it wasn't on a Gemini mold uh, he's trying to go tail heavy on me So there you go. There's our 360. And let's get ourselves a little bit more down to level so we can look down the port side here. Get a better view of this of this gear. Cuz this oops. Cuz this particular model should not or this particular airplane uh, doesn't have the same uh, profile as the and what I'm thinking of is the Embraer 175 which almost looks like the, the nose is higher than the back of the airplane just how it sits but this airplane's not supposed to look like that. Uh, maybe it doesn't look too much like that, but it sure does look, it, it just doesn't look quite right. I just feel like that nose gear needs to be a little bit shorter. Well, here we go. I guess that's as close as we're going to get. Um, so looking at this, I can't quite tell. The cockpit windows may not be in the right place or they're just not the right size. I'm not sure which. Uh, I'm not I'm not particularly comfortable with the cockpit windows uh, or the nose gear, but the overall shape looks good of the nose. Got your sky team right behind the cockpit windows. Um, I almost wish that Delta would do a bigger billboard 
title type thing maybe across the window line uh, it just it just looks so strange for uh, for the title Delta to be so small on a Euro white anyway here's the the port side And the tail, uh, I really do like the tail shape um, and the APU exhaust. We'll turn this a little bit so you can. I feel like this is, I feel personally like this is the best part of the mold is back here in the back. So I wanted to get a shot of that. And... The main gear look pretty decent, uh, and I will, because I want to give credit where credit is due, it appears that the nose tires are slightly smaller than the main gear tires. Um, where they did not look that way uh, on the Herpa mold, they did not look that way and and I've kind of seen the actual airplane in the the nose tires are not that much smaller than the main gear they are smaller but they're not obviously uh, extremely obviously smaller uh, than the main gear so at least as far as the tires are concerned, I think that that's pretty close and that would be an improvement over what was released on the Herpa mold. So there is the Delta A2-2300. Zoom back out again here. Raise it up for the next Next one, which is also an A2-2300. This one is the Air Canada A2-2300. I just love the raccoon uh, eyes on, on these. That's just so cool. And then there is your item number for this particular release. And this one's registration is Charlie Golf Juliet X Ray Echo. And let's get this one out. Control surfaces here. That looks good. Landing gear is a line. All the control surfaces are good. All right. And here it is Air Canada A220 300. It is now ready for its 360. Just beautiful. This looks really nice. All 
right. Bring this down to level a little bit so we can look down the port side. All right. So again, uh, nose gear a little bit long in my opinion. Uh, now, what's interesting about what I find interesting about this is because of the the raccoon mask, um, it's it's hard to tell if the uh, cockpit window placement is poor. Um, Yeah, I I cannot tell um, about the cockpit window placement. So uh, give them a benefit of a doubt that they did a better job on this one than on the Delta one. Going on right down the Pratt Pratt Whitney geared uh, geared turbo fans. Canadian flag in the registration there and then the back again it looks really nice I love I love the tail section of this mold and there you have it didn't dwell as much on this one since uh, we already had the Delta one and made all the comments on the Delta one. So that leaves me just a little under eight minutes to do the interactive 777 freighter. So hopefully I can get that done quickly. All right, so pull this back up. Do all the usual stuff. Here's the DHL Boeing 777 freighter uh, operated by Kalita Air. Your item number right there. And this one registration is November 774 Charlie Kilo. So, as usual, we have all the little parts. So, this one's going to be, this one's going to take me a little bit longer to get through. <clears throat> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up in the open door configuration. I'm not going to show it to you in the closed door configuration just because um, just because I, I feel like if, you, if you're getting these interactive ones you're getting them so you can display them in the open uh, in the open configuration and the thing is they really don't look great uh, in the closed configuration so I'm just gonna set it up in the open configuration and then if you like what you see you get your own and and set it up however you would like to set it up I don't know how well this this will work, but why not let you see me putting it together? All right, the big door. Oops. There we go. The big door. And then the two little doors. And 
Uh, these parts are starting to get a little bit too tiny for me. So a lot of hand in a lot of hands in that shot, I know, but and a lot of hand in that shot, I know, sorry. Alright, there we go. Alright, so this top door doesn't look quite right to me. I wonder if I just don't have it in there properly. Uh, it's just not wanting to slide all the way back, I guess. Alright, so here it is. The DHL 777 Freighter uh, by Kalita Air. Get close up for the 360, or as close as I can. Alright. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So there's the 360. Bring this down to level. Take a look down the port side with the Big door open. All right. Let's focus there, bro. There you go. Still a little disturbed by by cockpit window placement there, uh, but it's okay. Uh, uh, right here, next to the boarding door, is where it says "operated by Kalita Air." Not sure if you can read that, but that's what it says. And then we got the mustard and ketchup livery of DHL on the whole fuselage. There's your gigantic engines. And your triple bogey landing gear. There's the main big door, uh, cargo door. Right next to it is the registration number. And then the nice tall tail section. DHL on there. I will turn this a little bit because the, they, also, they also did a, a nice job on the APU uh, section uh, of these triple uh, sevens. So get a good look at that. Nice and molded. Um, so I will I will have to say that uh, right now the JC Wing, JC Wings, well, uh, I I guess Aviation 400 is probably oh my my favorite triple seven, but these are good too. Uh, NG just has um, just has it uh, tampo printed on the back which is not as good as the other ones but anyway i have 15 seconds left that will do it for this video i hope you enjoyed and as usual please leave a, a comment at the bottom and subscribe and like